I save buying it, driving it, owning it, and selling it? That's fantastic. Toyota, a great value from start to finish and everywhere in between. Here on this ball club, we, we're going to show you exactly what I think we have um, accumulated and, and what the best projection is for these pitchers. We've got 12 guys we want to show you. Breaking it down, the first six, when you look at Adelano, Detweiler, Hernandez, Landon, Marquis, and Martin, there may not be a number one guy among those. Well, there's not. Uh, Adelano's a number four, and the reason he's a number four is he can't get past five and a half innings. Uh, he throws decently. He walks. Uh, not a lot of people. Detweiler is the guy that I really like because he can get you seven innings plus. Uh, Levon is a true number three. He doesn't throw hard enough. Uh, he, he walks a few too many people. Uh, in his career, when he was throwing hard, he was a true number one. John Lannon is a three or four. Now, he's going to get you 185 innings, uh, but he's also walking, uh, you know, uh, one and a half more hitters per inning than he is striking out people. Uh, Jason Marquis is a guy that won 15 games. That's very good. But he's, he And he threw 200 innings, but over his career he's throwing 180 innings, and he's basically a 500 pitcher. Uh, J.D. Martin is a guy that just does not have enough fastball, has a breaking ball, lives with that, lives with his control, and he's going to get hit. His earn run average is going to be 4-5, and he's just not a guy that puts people away. When you look at these guys like that, you do not want them matching up against the Lincecums or the Matt Canes right. or the Ubaldo Jimenez because you're just not going to beat those guys. They're only going to give up two runs an inning uh, a game. These guys are going to give up you know, three and a half to four. You just don't have much of a chance to win when you've got a lot of threes and fours mixed into your rotation. On that list, there was no number ones. You're saying where are the number one starters? Well, right here you're going to see them. A couple of guys could be number one. Strasburg certainly is, and Jordan Zimmerman. Well, is. no doubt about it. Steven Strasburg, one plus. I mean, he's going to punch you out ten times a game. He's not going to walk anybody. He is just exactly what you're looking for uh, to be able, once he's stretched out to 35 starts, he's going to throw you 240 innings plus. Jordan Zimmerman is right there with him, no question. He's a guy that uh, one or two, he'll be a two behind Strasburg when he's healthy, throws 93 to 95 miles an hour, uh, average to strike out per inning pitch last year. Um, uh, uh, Wong is a guy that I like a lot when he's healthy, he won 19 games two years in a row. You got to figure he's a two or three because he can pile up some innings. He does have enough stuff to punch you out. Stammen, true four guy. Sinker, slider, not going to punch a lot of people out, but not going to walk anybody. Olsen, when he was in his prime, when he wasn't hurt, he was a three guy with the Marlins. He threw 200 innings one year. Uh, and then the other guy that we had on there was Mock. And he just has not been a guy that's been able to be consistent with good stuff to go deep enough in the ball game. So what you're looking at is what we talked about before. We don't have a true number one until we got Strasburg. A true number two isn't on the horizon until we get to Zimmerman later in the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Ross Detweiler to me would be a true number three guy and then Marquis would be a three and a four. So those are the type guys you're looking at when this this lineup, I mean this rotation, you, you throw Wong in there and you take a Detweiler, you take a um, uh, Strasburg, you take a Zimmerman, and then that lineup starts to shape up. Shape up. Now you say Lannon, where's he in that? Well, John Lannon is a guy that can be three to five, mm -hmm. and somebody's going to get hurt, uh, but he will progress down on the stature as far as going out there. It won't be an open day pitcher anymore. I imagine that's going to be Strasburg all the time. I think and, so. And Zimmerman will probably be number two if things go right. And uh, I know that's a lot of information, but uh, it's simple in my mind because I've been around it for 40 years. Uh, but you've got to have number ones matched up against number ones in order to win.